Hello, hello, and welcome back to another episode of Downfall. Last time we um we explored the fourth floor, so we've seen all of the hotel. Unless there's like more secret entrances, there might be. Um We found all of the Sophies, you know, minus the two we've already found and the one we killed. So we had two left to find, but we found both of them. Um one in the fourth floor and one in the party room. We killed, we successfully killed the the fat Sophie in the bathroom. And we're close to killing the crying Sophie in the party room, but she has disappeared. And I think we're going to the boyfriend's um, room to find her. Which I think she's probably eating them. <laughs> That's my prediction. Um, yeah, but we're, we're getting there. We have all the pieces. Also, the doctor died. And we haven't seen the manageress in a while, but maybe we'll visit her once we get to um the fourth floor again. But yeah, that's pretty much where we're at. <laughs> what floor? I know you was in the second floor. Do you remember what room it was? Oops. Apparently we quit saved. I think it was like two or three, if my memory is correct. But yeah. We still don't really know how we're gonna kill uh, fourth Sophie, or the fat one on the fourth floor, but sure we'll find a way. And we've pretty much done everything with um, what we have left in our inventory. We still need like the part of the letter from uh, Ivy. We're missing, we're missing a bit. We only have like one half. What the hey, it's Ivy! What the heck? How? <laughs> Easy. You're alive. Um, no, she's... Um... What the fuck? Jesus, my heart just stopped a second. She got split open. That's because I have. No, it's Ivy, just there on the floor. Dude, that was a clean cut. Jesus. Wasn't expecting that. I thought she was fake, but... Yeah, we're seeing things. She... It's not a good sign ever. It's complicated. She wanted me to let her go, but I just couldn't do it. She wanted me to let her go. No, just just say everything to Agnes. She She's the BFF. The thing with us women is that sometimes we say one thing and mean exactly the opposite. Did you ever notice? True. Yeah, I guess. I wasn't there, so I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure she didn't want you to go. Well, then I was right for once. I actually thought she wanted him to go, <laughs> to be honest. But I don't, so how about a fist bump? Sure. Fist bump. We did that with Ivy as kids. Nice. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Ivy doesn't. I mean, she cares about Joe. Actually, maybe she's onto something, because it seems like she's just scared of bringing joe down with her i think so that actually made sense freaking spooky room man all right i believe it's this one could be wrong i'm never wrong though hey oh it's you at least you're not crying <laughs> yeah, my bad. No worries, let him sleep. Do you break it to her? I'm gonna break it to her. Well, it's just a lightless character, can you see that? Mm, what if we're nice to her? Oh, I don't know. 
don't know. <laughs> I'm just, I don't want to make her cry again. <laughs> so we have to kill her. Promise me this was the last time, and I believe him. So do I. <laughs> Cheeky. I've got something for you. Oh, how nice! Maybe I should have told her the truth. I found this recipe for a smoothie. My secret recipe? Oh, I couldn't remember where I'd left it. Well, see our recipe for the fat the smoothie. smoothie. Sweet. Shit. I kind of regret not breaking the news to her. But we need to kill her anyways. Well, we might have fucked that up, but I feel like we fucked up a lot of stuff already. <laughs> Don't be nervous, Joe. Alright. Actually, can I look at? She seems happier now. Well, too late to change anything. Here you go. Have fun. Don't worry, it's Vitamat, so it's nice and smooth. So good. Are you feeling all right? Yes. Wait. I don't know. Put some honey aftertaste in my mouth. You sure is your recipe? Oh wait, no, we put weed in. Oh shit, did we ruin it? Because we put weed instead of oregano? Lol. Yeah, I don't know. Ah, uh, don't do it. Oh, she's gonna explode. Or just turn really fat. Oh, well, that's the opposite. She mummified. What have we done, Joe? Yeah, that's kind of fucked up. <laughs> Not gonna lie. What we had to do. The mirror's breaking. It's too late to turn back. It's making a shape of a freaky person, dude. We did what we had to do. It might have been painful. At least she's there forever with Harrison. Oh! I was looking for you. Do you realize how hard it is to wash blood off these carpets? <sighs> we just can't carry on like this. It's time for a serious <laughs> I'm headed back to my office upstairs. Please come and see me. I have a proposition for you. What if I'm not interested? You will be. Trust me. Hello, Agnes. Meet Joe. Manageress. Whatever she's got to say, do not trust this woman. Yeah? I just feel it. She's not a real person. We've been kind of nice to her, though. I, we could have been way more standoffish with her. I wonder if that'll be our downfall. <laughs> but it's kind of funny. <laughs> Maybe you should take it a bit more seriously. Anyways, one more Sophie to go. Maybe uh, she would give us the means to kill the final Sophie. Fourth floor. So 401's the room with the final Sophie. Four three was locked. Wonder how we're gonna get in there. All right, Miyachi in. She is. Hello. Ah, oh, and here's my American boy. <laughs> I knew you'd come, but I didn't think you'd bring a chaperone with you. I should kill you right here now for all you've done to us. You should have warned us. You you should have told us to leave. I'm gonna be polite. I like her. She's been kind of polite besides the little bit of shade thrown at Ivy. You should have warned us. You Give her the benefit of the doubt for no reason. <laughs> Joe, I'm 
running a business here. I can't just tell my guests to leave, can I? Now, that would be so rude. Well, okay, guess we have to. I should kill you right here, right now, for all you've done to us. What's stopping you, Joe? Uh, the fact that you're, I think you're already dead, just from the shadow. I'm not a murderer. I'm not a murderer. That's funny to say. I want to find out what you know first. I lost my gun. Don't push me. Tell me all you know. I want to find out what you know first. That's not going to happen. Unless. Unless you strip me naked. Tie me to a bed. And torture me until I scream it out to you. You know I won't do that. Yeah, yeah. I, I totally. <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> uh, too much of a happy mood. Check the recording. We're good. We're good. Oops. Oh, I need a better mouse, dude. My mouse has been triple clicking. Just too lazy to go out. It's time you told me what you really are. What makes you think that I'm even attracted to you? Might as well ask. I'm attracted to you because it's written all over your face underneath all this don't listen to her Joe I'm just memeing a secret little desire Joe your perfect woman I'm never bitter or tired or not in the mood instead I'm composed and strong and spontaneous I don't burn you with my baggage of problems I don't poison your life. I don't hide from you. Now is the perfect time for us to reconcile. To forget about that little bitch Ivy. <laughs> to run away and be happy. What do you say, Joe? Yes, no, I don't know. Oh, I should have. Can I save? I can't save. I can quit save. Oh, I want to see what yes does. I'm just trying to hit you with an I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's not the right choice, but it's kind of funny. No, you're a good guy. After all, you did listen to your wife when she wanted to share her problems. Mm. And you were always there for her. I tried to be. But no one is perfect, Joe. Sometimes even when we think we're right, we're so wrong. You know what? I helped you once before, when I left that key on the desk. I'll help you again, just to prove that I'm not as evil as you seem to think. I don't actually think she's that evil. Game, but... but maybe I'm naive. I want you to follow me to a special place. We're not following you anywhere, right, Joe? The little mouse can talk. <laughs> hmm. You have a strange taste in women, Joe. No shade at Agnes. That's one boundary. Just follow the trail. I'll be waiting. Okay. We're not gonna do it, are we? I know you don't trust her, but we might have no choice. A perfect weapon. Tempting. Alright, I we need to see. We need to see what yes is. Is that like a bad ending? Just to the fight. What? I knew you'd come around finally, but let's play a little game first. Ah, <sighs> oh, it's the same shit. What about everything you've told me? What about Ivy? Oh. We'll need to lose that ball and chain of yours along the way too. Just follow the trail. I'll be waiting. Okay, that seems like that. Bad ending. Uh, fuck. <laughs> I know what I'm doing, trust me. I know what I'm doing, trust me. I've only known you for a short time, but really, it's becoming increasingly harder. Let's just go. Okay, no, no, we're not gonna do that. Even though it's funny. Even though I want to. I wish you could save, man. Does quit saving last forever? If it is, we'll have to never press F1. You know what, I'll also do F2, just in case. But no, what do we'll, we'll I don't know? I don't know. <laughs> don't ask me. 
Just because it's funny. Keep our options open. <laughs> So follow the trail. There's only two locked rooms, I believe. One on floor two and one on floor four. But I guess the one on floor four is way too short. <laughs> Honestly, it's just me, Joe. I feel like anyone else playing this wouldn't be tempted, but it's so funny, dude. Guess it's not here, eh? Locked. It's probably not in sit sit sits either. Okay. So we're looking for a trail. Wonder if she'll give us a shoddy. Oh! Shoe. Examine. It's her shoe. Ooh, did she open this? So much for following the trail, but this door leads to a staircase. She's probably going downstairs. Okay, that's a little rude. Thought she would unlock it for us at least. So we're looking for shoes. Should we go? I have a feeling it's the second floor, but could be like a secret way. Time to do a little scouting mission. Look for the shoes, darling. Thought they were moving on their own. Boom, boom, boom. No shoes. You're here. Unless. Yeah, see, these are locked still. I mean, they might never be unlocked, but just to keep in mind. Whoa, whoa, wait, Ness, you're, you're freaking out a bit, eh? It also reminds me, like, why they show that Agnes will remember the doctor when the doctor dies. Unless Agnes is the one who did it. Could be a possibility. But we kind of followed her ever since she got axed, so it's kind of hard to believe. Um, I just wrote a third first, then. Just check all of the floors, get them, get it over with. Oh, no way, that's just Harriet's blood. Yeah, I mean, if she's going to the emergency stairs, I assume it just leads straight down, but. Alright, let's go down then. No stalling, I want my weapon. <laughs> Could be first. We've already checked every other floor. It'd be hilarious if it was in the party room and we just didn't check it. I'd be mad at myself. I think it's in front of the mirror. Though it's obviously we go there after we kill all the Sophies too, but you never know. Devil came through here. See, it's turning into a freaking scary person, dude. Look at that. Look how lanky the arms are, man. I don't want to know. I mean, supposedly Ivy. I mean, I, maybe not. I think we go into the mirror after. Or Ivy comes out. Or a monster comes out. Three options. Two are... One's good, one's alright, and one's horrible. <laughs> You can probably guess which is which, unless we said yes to uh, the sexy lady. <laughs> Alright. Oh. Oh my god, she's taking off her clothes. She went this way. Stocking. Black stocking, too. She's left it here for me. Okay, kitchen. I'm, I'm a little nervous, actually. Let's see how, it, how good she looks underneath her clothes. I feel like she's gonna be like a freaking monster, though. 
What did it say? It's a black stretch that she had on. Oh! Secret fridge. Wait, I want to look at the panties. Come on. Hey, the pin's on too. My boy. Examine. It's a secret passage inside a fish... Fish fridge. Should I be surprised? Watch inside. <laughs> oh, then what did we see up there? White panties. She must have gotten in closer. She's already taken off most of her clothes off. Perv. It had to be done. What are you talking about? I'm totally not perverted. Also, warning kids, you might see something. I mean, you've seen a bunch of dead people, but just in case. This is, like, scary, though. Where is this? Oh, bra. Wait, on, let's hit the bra. Oh, whatever. All right, Agnes. You and me, we're buddies for life, okay? Back me up. <laughs> if she's a monster, you were right. We'll kill her together. Come on, Agnes. <laughs> Just a second. I think I saw something. No, don't spit up. Uh oh, Agnes, you fool. Turns out it was nothing. Hey, wait for me. Actually, wait for Agnes. Oh my God, we switched. No. Oh. Joe, let me in. Fuck. And there's scary whispering. What happened to the bee? It's Ivy. Well, maybe that—that's the reveal. <laughs> this is Ivy's body. Oh, and we're in the toilet. Or she's in the toilet. Devil came through here. Only darkness this way. Maybe my theory was wrong then. I guess I didn't have a theory about Agnes. It's more about Sophie. But maybe it is all just Ivy and we're killing Ivy slowly. Can I do anything? I'm holding right. I don't think it's working. Nope. So kind of change again. Oh, no, Axe Man. Oh, Joe. What the heck? Agnes. I never actually noticed how similar. <laughs> Am I dumb? Oh, sh anyway, shut up. Maybe it. Ah, don't let children. She doesn't look like a monster. I was wrong. Um, I actually didn't notice how similar the Atsman looked to Joe. Am I like dumb? I didn't notice they were wearing the same clothes. I'm a little crazy. Oh, I want to say. <laughs> uh, okay, we're quit saving just for fun. She does look pretty good. Stop it, Joe. You'll make me blush. Regardless of what happens here, I just want to say. Based. <laughs> Why won't you just explain all this to me? Yeah. What's there to explain? Isn't it obvious that we fancy each other? I don't fancy you. No? Then tell me this. On your way here, when you found my panties. I did examine them. Yes! It was curiosity. <laughs> I'm I'm just I like to examine everything. You can't hold that against me. Yes, but I was just... <laughs> no excuses, Joe. You couldn't resist a natural coke. I no. Ask me. anyone watching this video. I examine everything. I just want to understand what's going on here. Oh, but didn't we already have this conversation? <laughs> Twice. I... I want to know why you're sitting there naked. I think that's kind of obvious. But sitting there naked. It's I told you already. I'm very, very lonely. But mostly, in case you missed it. I just want you to fuck me. <laughs> uh, 
I've seen this act before. Why are you trying to seduce me? Why are you trying to seduce me? Because you and me are a perfect match, Joe. I don't think we Joe and anyone's a perfect match. Just imagine <laughs> this. No more silent treatments. No more crazy talk. No more of any of that shit. You don't deserve it. You never did. Thank you. I've seen this act. But Joe's a little bit of an <laughs> asshole. <laughs> So he probably does deserve it a yeah, bit. I'm sure. Even though I've tried to be nice. We keep it here in case of, you know, fire. <laughs> There's blood on it. I rarely see oh, fire axes anymore. What is it doing here? It's a gift for you. I told you. This axe will be your final weapon. You want me to split you open? <laughs> I'm sorry. You're expecting me to murder someone with this axe? You're expecting me to murder somebody with this axe? Yeah, oh, Sophie. Don't play innocent, Joe. You've already murdered a bunch of people today, and some animals. They were not real people. Harrison might have been real. I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> All I want is for us to be together. But that's not going to happen unless you take this axe and remove that one last. No, I didn't know <laughs> Sophie. Then who? Stop. The creature standing right behind you. Aidness. friend by any chance. Ew. That sweet, naive little Agnes. Is that what she really looks like? To stop you in your tracks. She was lying to you all along. Just look at her. This is the real Agnes. I mean, it kind of made sense. That you have to kill. I mean, I don't believe you. It's your choice, but deep down, you know what you've got to do. Grab that axe. <laughs> take a big swing and fuck her up. Are we gonna risk it all, guys? <laughs> so now it's it. It's my fire axe. Let's just see how it feels in my hand. Okay, okay. Let's get a real save going. Oh, look at all these quick saves, man. Um, that's a good title. I mean, it's good to see multiple endings, I guess. I usually just do a one ending thing because I don't like going through the game again, but. I mean. But Agnes is actually my homie. You can talk shit about Ivy, kinda, but. Uh. Real Agnes. Alright. Bad ending first. <laughs> I can't possibly do this. What if this is the real good ending? Because Joe becomes happy. <laughs> uh, she was train us for train us. You wait for it like there's no tomorrow. She was a monster. Come on, Joe. Aww. You can't be that naive. The only monster here is you. What? I thought what we had was real. I need to be punished. Will you come here and spank me? Oh, I'll spank you. I'll spank you all night. <laughs> no! We killed Agnes for nothing! I thought we had something special! At least it was funny. Alright, let's go. The true bad ending. Oh. 